Three rows of seating in a package that won't entirely outrage the Sierra Club. Let's drive the 2012 Kia Sorento EX and check the tech. The Sorento is, in keeping with Kia's ethic, more on the handsome side of the Hyundai-Kia Duo, a fairly crisply folded crossover with a third row of seats. They take up the cargo area, though, so you'll face choices like passengers or luggage, not and. Inside, I find Kias to be affordably handsome, sort of like a suit from the Gap. You'll want the Premium Plus package, though, to get 10-speaker Infinity Sound and built-in navigation. But if you go that way, you can't get the Uvo system, which is their advanced voice control for entertainment and such. Bluetooth hands-free will be there in any case, of course. We would opt for that Premium Plus package for the better audio and navigation and skip Uvo at this point, but that's not a choice you should have to make. Media sources will be AM, FM, CD, USB Plus iPod, Bluetooth streaming, and an aux jack. Our EX is a mid-level vehicle, and it has not the V6 or the old four-cylinder, but a brand new, more modern direct injection four that is 2.4 liters, cranks out 191 horsepower and 181 foot-pounds of torque. Both those numbers improved over the last four. It'll get this vehicle to 60 in a little over eight seconds while delivering 22-32 mpg, and both those numbers are up two from the previous engine. Power goes out through a six-speed automatic in all cases to either the front wheels or optionally all four. The handling is good, the ride is firm, that's sort of a Kia trait anyway. They generally tune that direction compared to equivalent Hyundais. A Sorento EX starts at 27 grand. Add 1700 for all-wheel drive. The big one is the Premium Plus package. It's $3,200, and there's really nothing else on the option list you have to think about to roll CNAT style. 